Hi, Tracy here, and I have a scrapbook layout and process called Papa and Matthew. And I don't actually end up putting the title on it, but it is a picture of Papa and Matthew, my son Matthew. And I'm going to do some gesso on this cardstock. And this is actually an old Scraptastic kit when I did my stash dive giveaway I kept like um, I think I told you in the video I don't remember how many intact kits that I kept it's like maybe four or five of them um, because I hadn't even opened them or touched them or anything um, but so this was one of them but I actually use tons of other product on it but um, outside of the kit but I do use a lot of the kit as well. So first, then this cardstock did come from the kit and so did the blue one to the left. The I just did white gesso and then you saw I mixed white gesso with two different colors of paint. I'm trying to somewhat match the blue that's cardstock to the left because I'm gonna ultimately mat the brown cardstock with the blue and this did come out a little bit brighter but only just a smidge the, this lighting that I'm using is making it actually look a little brighter than it or maybe it just dries it probably dries not as bright so then I'm adding this green as well because the colors of this layout are basically the brown and that green and the blue and using my embossing heating tool to heat that up because I didn't want to wait it's a super hot day I live in Southern California and it was uh, about a hundred and I think it was a it reached 105 today so that dried up very quickly so now I'm pulling out a bunch of stamps because I'm going to do a whole bunch of stamping on this and I'm looking for words expression stamps mostly although that's not all I use so I'm gonna do stamping on the left bottom and the top right and I'm almost kind of making it it's a clustering of stamps um, that I'm making almost fill each corner there and then most of the time I'm taking my stamp and stamping it onto that paper so that I'm not getting a fresh like real dark stamp because I wanted it to have sort of a weathered older look to it so some of these stamps the expressions they say are capture this moment life is made of little moments this is awesome the good life love this and then I use stars and a label and I'm just and then some arrows too and ultimately a, just a smidge of the stamping does get covered up but that's all right I didn't know how much would get covered up so I'm just stamping away Staring away from hearts and such, although I do end up embellishing with just a, a touch of hearts, even though it's men in these pictures. I try to stay away from hearts and the obvious, more kind of girly stuff, although, I mean, men love to. And 
this picture, I really love this picture. It is not the best picture of my dad. He has a sort of a funny expression on his face, but I really love the picture of Matthew. And my Matthew and, and my dad are really similar, similar in personality. They are both very serious people and really kind of contemplate but they're super super loving and kind and really gracious people both of them are you know are just um they're like two peas in a pod in that way and in, in that they're serious and yet very very kind and gracious that's you know just really really um willing to accept other people for who they are and I love that about both of them so that's why I love this picture of the two of them together and then the fact that Matthew is smiling and looks super happy he can't stand having his picture taken and all my teenage boys went through a, a stage of that but he his has continued so um, oh, sorry, I'm looking through my ephemera kind of stuff here because I'm looking for stuff to layer with. That's a postcard, the one with the boat. I don't end up using it. And then these little pages that I'm going to end up using that little um, quote from, um, those are from a book that I got. At, so actually, I bought several of them because I got them for 25 cents each at a flea market. And then that page of the book is an old old beat up really be falling apart book um, that I'm going to use as the background most paper and I'm just tearing it here so I have some vellum there and I'm, I'm starting to really get this layered up I, I really wanted a layered look to this and by the way all these papers came from that kit that I use I, I think it's maybe April Scraptastic it's from a while back but at the very end I actually got smart this time I took pictures of the products I used so <laughs> if you wait to the end or scooch back you know if you really want to see what each paper is um, it's actually only two papers and it's front and back so um, two pieces of each which is how I came up with the four papers and then that bag there that's an old bag from so I don't know I got something in it at some point I think it came in a studio calico kit actually maybe um, and now I'm looking for a tag because I want to create a tag with this little quote and I think I'm going to disappear and so yeah so miraculously now that the, the uh, tag is done I actually went over the tag with the same paint mixes that I had already on my desk <coughs> with the gesso so I just quickly painted over them over the tag real messy and then I tore out that quote and then I sewed it onto the label and here I'm going to mess around with some different labeling or layering stuff, but I don't end up using that smile. The little tags and such, those are shown. The package label is shown at the end with a picture. I think it's Teresa Collins, but I'm mm, not sure. I think it is, though. I originally was thinking I would put the tag inside that little bag, but then I really wanted the quote, obviously, to show. And I couldn't think how to make that work, so it's just supposed to look like that's where the tag came from, you know? So there I just used Mercy Tierra's trick of taking a picture so that I could arrange it just how I had it as I'm gluing it down. And this was one of those times that that little trick came very much in handy because I really liked the way it was arranged. So I really paid attention to my picture and followed it meticulously. I'm 
This layout took me a really long time. It was one of those layouts though that the more I got into it, the more I was doing it, the more I was enjoying it. I just really love the way it came out. It's really one of my favorites in a very, very long time. So here I am using Hero Arts ink that I'll show at the end that shows the color. But it's a gray color that I'm doing a little inking the edges and then you'll see me I go back and have to go and ink all the edges of the papers and it's a pain in the butt because I should have done it before I glued them together working a little bit on my cluster here but I think I'm going to pull up everything and do some splattering of some white paint. I think I'm getting my paint right now. Oh no, I'm going through labels. Got my label book out. You can't see it, but and I don't know what the deal was. I tried to edit out some of this footage and, you know, the blank spots. And for some reason it wouldn't let me. I don't know what that was about. So I'm putting some labels up there because I'm going to put some other stickers. So those labels kind of anchor the other stickers. Here is an example of footage that I could not get rid of. Usually I'm able to like split it and I don't know, the program did not want to be happy for me. So there we go. I, I'm, oh, here's where I realized, oh, I don't want to glue that down. So I have to go rest it somewhere up and I'm, I'm using my water, watered down paint white paint mix that I'm using to splatter. I have some white inks but I they don't I don't like them. They don't they're not white enough. That's why I always use paint when I want to do white. And here I am doing the painstaking after I've already gl glued inking my edges there. This is not the way to do that. <laughs> I don't actually, it's been a long time since I've inked the edges of paper, so I was not thinking in those terms, so I guess I should give myself a little grace. And there I'm, I've gone through all kinds of stickers trying to see what do I want, I just need more up there. Could see that I'm just not sure about that one sticker holding it there for a long time and then I finally go for it I really like that little sticker there but I, the orange just on it just didn't go so now I'm looking through more labels and I find that green one that I'm going to hide the details on it. I actually put it in there upside down. I did the same with the oval one up above too. Because I just wanted the color of it. I didn't want, it had like a gingerbread man on it. The one on the top. And then the bottom one had a phone. Neither of which goes with this layout. Now I'm going to go around and do a bunch of tiny attacher. And I like the laziness of the strings from the bag. That they'll just end up kind of falling where they fall. 
when I put it in a book. I like that. And then one little tag says you and me, the label, uh, whatever you call that. I really like that because it is a you and me of them. And again, they're just so two peas in a pod, very similar people. Just like they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, right? So Matthew is obviously born and bred of my dad's genes. So there I'm just putting a little, some twine. That's like hemp twine. Just for that tag to have something, it just looked weird. It was kind of floating. I thought about tiny attaching that because it's very loose, but then I go with Aline's glue. And now I'm adding some Mr. Huey's Passport ink. And there, the, by the way, those hearts, um, those are Studio Calico craft hearts. And that was the hearts I was talking about that I do add just a smidge. And then the one on the badge. It just went so well with the ink splatter look or paint splatter look to it. It just was perfect, so I had to go with it. Okay, so here's close-ups of the items that I use, the papers. And then that's the labels. It is Teresa Collins. And then the ink. And the Hero Art ink, soft granite. And then here's my close-ups. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I had a super fun time doing this layout. Loved it. Um, just love playing with my paint and ink and stuff. It's my favorite. Favorite. And the close-ups show the stamps too. So, And then here's the paint. That shows the better uh, um, close-up of how I did that paint. And my tag. I love that tag. Came out cute, I think. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.